What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rudy Having Fun where we're still out here in the desert and we stopped at another uh, fun little spot here on the uh, 15 along the trip from LA to Vegas or Vegas to LA. It's uh, what the sign is saying is claiming to be the California's largest gas station and gift shop. Um, so. We've always wanted to stop here as well, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to show you guys what this place has to offer. Alright, let's have some fun. Plenty of Tesla charging stations. If you're trying to, thinking about taking your Tesla to Vegas from LA, this is a good spot to stop. Still having a hard time believing that this is California's largest station. I mean, they do have a lot of pumps. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Six, ten, twelve, fourteen. So, twenty-eight pumps. I don't think that that's California's largest, but the sign said California's largest gas station. Take their word for it. So we're heading in. Oh wow. This place is huge. Got a Pete's coffee. A full Thai beanie baby, baby section from I don't know 2000. What I'm saying is, is that, do people collect Beanie Babies anymore? I don't know. Oh, look at this. They do taxidermy on stuffed animals here, apparently. That's kind of cool. That's a niche market. Lots of their, like, unique candies. Suckers. Some cool metal lunch boxes. Looks like this is some kind of thing out in the desert. Everybody's got their own brand of nuts and candies and jerkies. Oh, look at this. They got a, a jerky bar. Oh, you got samples? Can I try... Let me try this. I don't want anything too hot, so let me try the thick cut spicy cowboy. They got lots of toys and games for kids. I don't have kids, but this is all good stuff for like, for traveling while you're on the road and stuff. Coloring books. Makes sense. Road activities. Full food court. Lots of different offerings. They also serve alcoholic beverages, pizza, whatnot. There's a dining area over there. Man, the, the snacks here, next level. Now this is a little more current. The Beanie Babies, they must have got on sale or something, but Funko, this is current. They got a, all kinds of Funkos here. This is their crown jewel. So what we're looking at here is, this is, a, this is a, the Lakers wall. And this section here, this court part, from what I've heard, is center court to their old, their old arena. Uh, the, let's see. One of only two in existence, this incredibly rare piece of Lakers memorabilia is part of the original court of the Great Western Forum, their old stadium. The Forum was home to the Los Angeles Lakers from 1967 to 1999, during which they won six NBA championships. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? I'm a Warriors fan. Uh, remarkable home court record of 889, 889 wins, 227 losses. 
standing before you is the hardwood floor upon which the Los Angeles Lakers won four NBA titles. The birthplace, the birthplace of Showtime, engineered by Magic Johnson during the legendary 1980s and home to Michael Jordan's very first NBA title in 1991. Very historic piece of hardwood there. Oh, we even got a little Jordan here. That's cool. This is the reason why I wanted to come, to be honest. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Looks like somebody lost their underwear. And uh, Eddie's World also has their selection of sauces and whatever marinades and barbecue sauce and taco top hot sauce hot sauce that's what i'm looking for lots of hot sauces they also offer caramel corn a full caramel corn counter look at that looks like it's all made here and then homemade ice cream all the goodies you could ask for oh look at these little funkos here this is kind of cool it's a game a funko verse game i've never seen this before that's kind of cool We've got jurassic park game of thrones back to the future do you see very cool all right, so we're back on the road, and the girl behind the counter got me with the sample on the beef jerky there at the beef jerky bar. Um, didn't realize it at first, but it's a little expensive, $28 for just over a quarter pound. Went with the sweet and spicy. It's very good. It's very moist, high quality beef jerky, but 28 bucks pretty pricey beef jerky is so expensive mm. no matter what oh yeah <laughs> really good though anybody interested they've got a lot of really spicy flavors like um, ghost pepper and reaper like a lot of really spicy stuff but also some other stuff that's like a really good blend of like barbecue and sweet with spice it's good stuff for sure if you like beef jerky check it out it's called jedi's jerk jed's jerky jed's jerky but other than that that's going to do it for today if you uh, like this video maybe give it a thumbs up and uh if not then i'll see you in the next one